that we are investing $214 million for Made in Canada vaccines. To begin with, our government is providing up to $173 million for Medicago to advance their vaccine candidate and create a production facility in Quebec City. The Prime Minister says Canada is at the front of the queue for COVID vaccines, announcing millions in spending to help Canada develop its own domestic vaccine production capacity. The second part of today's investment is for the Vancouver-based biotech company Precision Nanosystems. They're also making progress with a vaccine candidate, so we're allocating up to $18.2 million for their development and testing. Vaccine candidates from Medicago and Precision Nanosystems are in phase one clinical trials, and the deal with Medicago also includes a purchase of 76 million vaccine doses. There's also $23 million in funding for other vaccine candidates being developed in Canada. But no vaccine has finished clinical trials or been approved for use anywhere in the world, making it unclear when a vaccine will be ready for Canadians. I think... Uh, the reasonable expectations is that vaccines could start to arrive uh, sometime in the new year. But even then, there will be smaller amounts of doses that will have to be distributed to priority populations. It's really important for Canada to have its own you know, homemade vaccine. It, it's obviously going to be a, an element of pride, but much more important than that, um, we are competing with every other country in the world for this vaccine. Um, and while Canada has signed a whole bunch of agreements to make sure that we have access to it, you know, having it um, actually produced uh, in country is one of the surest ways to make sure that we do have access to it. All told, Canada has bought 358 million vaccine doses from a range of pharma companies, meaning nearly 10 doses for every Canadian. Dr. Barry Pakes says the policy makes sense. There's no indication which of these vaccines will be most effective or ready first. Each one of those vaccines uh, is is made in a different way, is, is uh, targeting different... Uh, uh, strategies uh, in order to provide protection. And what the government is really doing is the appropriate thing and hedging its bets. And, and it's all a, a big insurance policy to make sure that whichever one of those strategies or whichever, whichever one of those particular vaccines ends up being successful, the Canadians will have access to it. There is also an update on rapid tests. Distribution for Abbott, ID Now and Pan Bio tests has started with provinces leading the effort. There weren't firm figures available, but Dr. Teresa Tam says provinces and territories will get about 80% of the allotment, with the remaining 20% going to Health Canada for use in emergency situations. In Ottawa, Shao Lee Lee, City News.